Ah! You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, my people are not mine. They say, I bet I don't know their power. They have power. Ah! But Satan will destroy them. Yeah, let me know. Uh -huh. So, 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 so uh, I'm not going to do that. Why do you need to get disappointed? She's my wife. 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 She's Jesus Christ has come in your life. 
and finally you go and make Sir, we come to the Monsignor Church of our nation. Could you please tell us your name and your wonderful testimony? My name is Elia Harry. From what you've seen in the screen, all this, all what the Spirit said is true. We are experiencing spirit of disappointment in my family, especially in my case. The according to what the Spirit said about me, yeah, him being the spiritual man in me, it's very true because I've been experiencing somebody making love, though it has been long when I notice that when I go to church, when I go to church, when I commit myself to God, I don't have dreams of that. Then in the night when I sleep, I find myself in strange places. I find myself dealing with people I don't know. I find myself swimming with Indians. I always complaining in church. Hallelujah. So, sister, as we watch the spirit in you, was talking about limitation in your family. What can you say concerning that? According to what the spirit said about limitation, uh, it's not it's not uh, false because. My family, in my family, we don't have we don't have people that we can call intellectuals. Though from uh, the, the the grandchildren generation, we have we have children that are educated. They can be educated from primary school, secondary school, up to the some go to university, some end at advanced level. But to get a job, there is nothing. From our father's side, there is nobody. There is limitation, even in business. Even in my father's case, he has once been a, a businessman, a rich man, but at one moment we could not understand him. He stopped everything and just went to farm work. We don't understand him about that. So, my sister, what about your own say about the spirit of limitation in your own life? In my own case, I I can say the spirit walk tried to try to limit me in my studies, but using my father. But I struggled. I had my A, my O levels, my A levels. So the spirit passed through my dad so that I should not go to the university. Then I got pregnant, and since then, 2014, I've not been in school. Hallelujah. Amen. So our sister is telling us how that spirit of limitation has been tormenting her family and her own self. That there's nobody in the family, especially to the father's side, that they can boast of. And concerning her own life, things are not going the same. Especially when she had her advanced level, it was very tough for her to go to the university. In the point of that, she got pregnant. And by so doing, her education stopped. Amen. Amen. So now, sister, as before you came to the Mosaic Church of All Nations and the man of God prayed for you, tell us more about your dreams and the spiritual husband that you used to see yourself in. I noticed that when I sleep in the night, if I pray, I will not experience anything. But if I don't pray and sleep, I will notice that I'm turning on top of the bed. When I get up, I cannot recollect anything. I will try to, to take myself back to my gym. I will not recognize anything. Sometimes I will sit like this. I, I will go off. I don't know what is happening. I can dream. I can dream that, especially when I was pregnant, I will always dream that I, I'm inside a valley picking snails. So I try to complain to people around and say it's because I'm pregnant, it's a sign of fertility, but it continued there after I, I put to bed. So now, Sister Tell us, immediately you came to the Mount Zion Church of Commission, and the man of God laid his hand on you. At that instant, what can you see? As the man of God was coming, before he came, when he was in the altar, I was fine. But he, when he was coming, I realized that my my chest was beating. I, re, I realized a fast 
had it. I asked myself that what was going on. The man of God was up there. Why didn't I? Why wasn't I afraid? So when he came close to me and touched me, I I got the courage to look at his eyes. I got the courage to look at his eyes, but at one moment I could not look at it. I saw fire. I saw my eyes burning. Then I could not feel myself. I could not. I could not stand on my own again. Hallelujah. So now, sister, you said the man of God came, you started having some heartbeat. Yes, serious heartbeat. Huh? Yes. I had serious heartbeat. It was not breathing, I was not breathing as normal. I felt some heartbeat. And at that point, you have some courage in you to look him in his eyes. Yes. Yes, but after looking at his eyes, I felt like there was fire in my eyes, so I removed my eyes. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, when they prayed for you, sister, how was you feeling at that time when the man of God said you are free? I felt better. I realized that I usually sit, sit alone, especially when I'm alone. There is something talking in me. Like if I want to go to someone and say, don't go. Sometimes I say go, sometimes I say don't go. I just felt that there was there was somebody in me talking. There was somebody in me. Sometimes I would try to do something good that somebody would talk inside of me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Then I have this spirit of anger. Every little thing I retaliate. Every little thing I retaliate. I know. I know there was something wrong with me because. Almost everything angers me. Then sometimes I behave, I behave like a man. I will always, like when I was with my my boy's father, I will always when he when he shouts, I will shout. So I realized that there was so, there was really something wrong with me. Yes, sister, as you see, you said you find yourself before you came for the deliverance. You will always find yourself in your heart like somebody is talking with you. Yes. And when the person talks, you try to obey what the person is saying. Yes. That means it was a spirit. Yes, it was some sort of a spirit because things that my conscience will tell me that they are not good, this, that person in me will say, do it, do it. Wow. So now, sister, you talk about spirit of anger. And now, finally, when the man of God prayed for you and you went back home, what about that spirit that is talking to you and the spirit of anger? What can you say concerning that? I don't, I don't, I, for the spirit talking with me, I realized it, it left me because when my mom died, the spirit will always tell me, go, go and attack your uncle, go and attack your uncle. Then I notice when I sit like this, something will talk in me that this is your uncle that is sleeping with you in the night. When I see that my mom, I'll always twist my face, I'll always twist my face because there's something talking inside of me. Hallelujah. Then after when the man of God prayed for you, what can you say concerning that same spirit? I've not been guessing. The only thing that I experience is stepping in my mind is just my mom's head. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord and say, God, Jesus Christ. Amen. But that hand is not enough for what God has done in the life of our sister present to us today. Remember, she said there's this same spirit that used to talk to her, tell her things to do this or to do that, especially when her mom died. That spirit is telling her that your uncle is the one that killed your mom, just to cause problems in the family. So sister, so today you are telling us that you are now free of that torment. I'm free because I am I've not been having these dreams in the night. I sleep, I get up, I don't recall anything. I know that there is nothing. I've not been having making love with a man in my dream again. Hallelujah, God put your hands together, Lord Jesus. The Lord is good. And all the time. Indeed, our God is good in Jesus' name. Amen. So now, sister, what God has done in your life, what point of advice have you to give the viewers and the Christians in church today for what God has done in your life? Hello, viewers and people in the church. 
I will not say mine, mine is the last. You can see how this same problem, you can see be tormented by this strange man in your life. But all you need is just to hold on to God. I realized with my own case that when I draw close to God, I pray in the night before I sleep. I don't, do, I don't experience anybody sleeping with me. So what you need if you are having this type of case is drawing close to God. I drew, I drew close to my pastor. I realized that I, I was not feeling anything in the night. So I just want you that you should do like I did. You should always focus your mind on the things of God so that your deliverance shall come one day like mine in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, please, and hands together for that wonderful point of advice from our sister this morning. Amen. So, sister, a steadfast look at the crucified one, never look in vain. Jesus Christ is the greatest physician. So, sister, go and make the word of God stable in your life so that the wonderful deliverance that you have received in Christ Jesus will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.